Hey all, Tabs here, back playing some more Planet Zoo. So, we are progressing in the dome. A um, bit of a sort of fairly small section um, this week. So, uh, just adding in some small exhibits. So I had this kind of idea, well you'll have seen it in the thumbnail and the title, but for this kind of um, grotto thing. So I think I talked about in the last episode that I'm trying sort of been trying to resist putting anything too big over this end of the dome um so what i'm doing is basically building what's sort of supposed to be like a um the experience of being deep in the in the rainforest so i used i started off using and what you're seeing here in the speed build it looks a bit weird but it kind of comes together so i thought the mossy rocks actually look quite a lot like a tree trunk well it can look like a tree trunk so you need a lot of work to get it to that stage um so what i thought i would do is sort of create this almost like a grotto so it's not supposed to like be like a cave it's supposed to just be that you're like deep deep in in down in the rainforest sort of down in the in the undergrowth almost so what you see on these trees um the ones we've got in the game as well as the you know and obviously in reality is the trees where you can see the sort of creeping vines is often like a symbiotic relationship where you've got well almost like it's i don't know if it is a symbiotic relationship um sometimes it's like a you know, the vines are actually strangling a real tree so i think that's what the strangler maybe that's what the strangler thing is i should look actually whether that's a real tree or it's it's more than one tree growing together so what this is supposed to look like is almost like the host tree and then as I start to add the vines that's all the stuff sort of creeping around and, and catching a lift on this bigger bigger sort of tree. So it's almost, I mean it's sort of, I mean it kind of works. I think it works in the end. At this stage it still looks very odd. Um, so there I've kind of formed my first structure and now I'm putting the layers of the the vines on it. Uh, the roots on it well they are vines in my case I'm, be, I'm using them kind of as vines or as branches i found that actually there is a, only really a couple that kind of work for this purpose because like, this big one that i'm using here a lot works really well and you can kind of you know, just twist it around and adjust it a little bit and it doesn't look particularly repetitive once you've got the once you've got more layers on it the others tend to sort of splay out a bit too much um, so I do put a few of those in, but not too many. So yeah, it ends up looking, um, well, we'll see it at the end, but it ends up looking as you kind of layer it up. I think it kind of looks okay. So this is supposed to still be like, um, obviously I'm trying, I was sort of slightly moving away from what I've done before in this dome, where it being very much kind of man-made. So this is supposed to almost look like a, I don't know, I think it's supposed to look like a sculptural sculptural piece, but this obviously would be a big investment for a zoo to, to put something like this in, but there you go. I thought I'd just go for, <laughs> do a, go for a silly idea. So actually, as you add, add, sort of add this, um, this stuff in, and it's a lot of pieces, obviously you're not going to see all of it. It's going to be a fairly big jump very soon. Um, oh, these bits work quite well as well. Those are some of the African bits. But they're like, I haven't done an enormous amount to that and that's already starting to look pretty convincing as like a, as a root structure. Um, and obviously I get it to a stage and then I just continue to fiddle with it. These are really cool as well. I can't remember what these pieces are. Can we actually see them? But they're one of the bushes. They're obviously not in the, um, in the jungle pack. But or in the uh, uh, South America pack, but they they work really well as this kind of mossy growth. See that now it now it kind of looks like it's got some moss growing on it. Um, and then yeah, there's as I said, there's a lot of pieces involved in this. So just layering it up, continue to layer it up. Some of the um, what are they? The Bougainvilliers? Is that what they are? Can't remember. That might be the wrong name. Um, and then yeah, these little flowers. And then we go crazy with the vines. So this is the bit that kind of starts to bring it just a little bit more detail. So this is supposed to be the roots, I guess, the roots and the vines all kind of creeping down. 
Um, and yeah, it looks like I've got a long way to go, but it isn't it isn't too bad. I'm going to copy this in a second. Um, and then there is going to be a big jump. Uh, so yeah, just thought it was quite an interesting, like um, I was talking about adding a, I think I talked about adding an animal into the water this episode, but um, the problem I had was this corner didn't really have enough path space to get a, either a bridge over or um, access down into into a water. So so yeah, here we go. We're starting to copy it around now. It still looks pretty repetitive at this stage, um, but and yeah. So we're supposed. It's almost like it's a, almost like it's a, it's a massive kind of root system of a of something huge that's that's kind of died away. Um, and then you'll see later on, I put stuff on top of it. So yeah, it still looks very much like a repetitive thing here. Um, I can't actually remember how much further I jump ahead, but. Oh, so now we're inside, kind of down inside. And don't forget, I've got the path here. So the barriers will disappear in a minute. But this is me going to grab a door here a second. So I've just put in a, because we've got, I'll show you this in the in the real time section at the end. But there's a guest a, a, um, access path there into the parrot enclosures. So I needed to put that door in. Um, making some of these concrete pieces green. Just to blend it in a bit better because it was slightly jarring under uh, with that concrete color um and i think that's kind of realistic enough that would work and there we go big jump ahead so um now you'll see this all in obviously in much more detail in the in the real time section but it's mostly just layering and i'm mostly just kind of adding bits over the top um i had to go back and change some of the roots that were on the floor because they kind of stuck up a bit i've put all this temple flooring in i think this is actually one of the walls just laying on its side um put some lighting in and um, yeah just going through and adding some of this mossy stuff and you'll see it's kind of coming together oh this is a random this is how i'll play the game this is a random kind of side tangent um i went back to where the monkeys are or the, um, the capuchins on the other side and just kind of was playing around with this idea of like a like I was conscious of the fact that I haven't really put any TV screens in and I haven't put the TV screens in because I think they work more for this sort of thing. Almost like, I don't know if, you, if you've if you seen this, but you know, you, it's, you, it's the sort of thing you see more in a museum where you sit down in front of a TV screen and the screen tells you information about something. So that's what that kind of was, a little a little bit. So now we're back over the other side with the grotto. Um, uh, and I just decided to do some detail in here. So this is me... This is the interface between the grotto and the concrete path. So you'll see there on the floor is actually some windows, but I wanted to kind of deliberately make it look like it was like a modern interface um, between the two. So I sort of highlighted it, if you like. Um, and now we're adding in, gone back and copied over some more of that raised bed stuff that we've got on the other side to keep it consistent. And then we're building out so this is on the this is on the other side um, from the parrots of this grotto and we're building out realize we don't need some of these lamps there i have to take the, i think i'm taking the path out here no i'm not i'm looking to see where the where, where the um the path runs so i can run this rock work round so again this is trying to bring it back to the like consistent aesthetic of the rest of the dome to this point just kind of um continue it on and this ends up being this ends up being a raised structure which we'll see in a second like a little a viewing deck so this is going to be part of whatever's in um that water that's going to be one of the viewing platforms for them this is something totally not usable but uh so i put this basically i put this deck up which we'll see in a second and i wanted a way to get up there but I didn't really want to use the guest pile thing because it just it just ends up taking up so much space and I kind of don't really like playing this is a sandbox zoo so this is all about the aesthetic I don't massively care I mean the guests, guests are going to be happy anyway because they've got a good view but I don't massively care if the guests can't get up onto this platform so I think what's the most efficient way of getting up there is making a spiral staircase so um Again, this looks a bit odd, but the technique is that 
the technique I worked out is that you kind of have to make both sides of it. So I've built the steps there and the and the, the bars and you'll see it looks like it's almost like a corkscrew at the moment. And then you go back and delete the other side of it. Um, this will be actually on the workshop and you'll notice it's the scratching pole in the middle, which is kind of kind of just cool. looks kind of interesting. So there are, I think there was one on the workshop someone already created, which was really cool, but very different to what I was going for. I think their one is like very modern and this is the gutter piece sort of works okay as a handrail I'm not 100% happy with it um, because the angles are just tricky okay so now we're working up on this deck platform so there's not too much of this in the, in the time lapse but um, so just pulling out pulling out a viewing platform just for again it's just another kind of point of interest and a focal point really um so what we're doing here yeah just giving this some bit more structural support and i think this will be like this is kind of would be a cool spot to view um further down the dome because i, I haven't got any raised positions this is probably the first in fact this is the only raised position that you'd be able to view down the waterway and stuff um so putting in a bit of i think i end up actually dropping these post through the floor in a minute um, but giving them a bit of kind of structural integrity by putting some steel into them because obviously this is a almost like a cantilevered structure um, I think I do end up adding another support in a second but you don't see it um, so cheating up some some benches up here so if you don't know this you can just you know just put a, float a piece of path up there and then remove the path and it doesn't really matter the benches stay there i had a little bit of trouble getting the path back in because i'd used the um the q trick um for to make a three meter path there so i had to kind of get that back in and then i'm putting some glass in so i want this to feel a little bit different up top so again this is like sort of deliberately gone modern um so i think this is kind of the palette now is that it's got like um it's got like a modern twist to it um sort of these bits that are kind of modern um so they're using this glass paneling but then these kind of slightly more traditional looking things like the rock and the obviously the grotto it, just, it was kind of it just thought it was kind of a cool way to end the grotto it was this like really starkly modern structure um next to it with the, the glass and the and the um the wood and stuff there's the sort of clean looking timber and this spiral staircase um so then we're sinking in and actually at this point you can see i'm sinking these into the floor and i kind of didn't really realize i was doing that but um so we're getting some more uh some more of the like jungle critters in here basically the undergrowth critters and you'll see at the end i've done a couple of bits that are that are not in the time lapse that uh, will be in the real time section um and then we yeah starting to put a sign in really happy with the way this came out actually it was quite cool uh just checking the time so we're getting quite close to the end of the time lapse now um but yeah so just putting this sign in so that the peeps know where they are pretty simple um using some of the awesome fonts from the workshop i can't remember which one i use here i think maybe it's I think it's two different fonts. I think I use one of Rice's fonts and one of Moblong's font fonts as well. All of those will be in the um, the pack. So I've put a little collection together now, and the link will be in the description. So yeah, just adding some detail to this. I think there's a jump in a minute again. Here we go. Yeah, so pretty happy the way that came out. And then I kind of wanted to use this frog as like a way of lighting. Um. So I'm not sure we'll see this in a second, but I put a light. So he's got a post kind of holding him up and then I sneak a light in there. So that is almost the end of the real time section. I have not included some stuff in this speed build guide. Uh, sorry, it's almost, almost the end of the speed build section. Um, so stick around for the real time bit because there is some stuff that's not shown in here. Um, and I will catch you guys in a minute. Okay, we're starting from outside again. 
uh, but it's night time. It's actually five o'clock in the morning. This is a super cool time to view this at the moment, especially this grotto. I think this works really well. Um, so let's go through the main entrance. I've done a lot of work with the sound as well. Um, nothing major has changed in here. Actually, I've, these columns are new. Uh, so I've taken these. I think they had some... I don't know, I think they just add some grandious, grandioseness. Obviously, there's still loads of work to do in this. I took out all that pattern on the floor as well, guys. I really liked it, but it was um, kind of lagging me out in there because of the all the light sources in there. So I'm not going to talk too much, actually, because I do like the ambience of this, but I'll kind of explain the new things. It's looking really, really cool. Let's just zoop over here a second. So there's my new little section. Oh, here the monkey's running across the top. Uh, I can't remember if that's new. No, I don't know if it's new, is it? Uh, so yeah, it's just supposed to be like you sit down. There's like a little sensor there. TV screen comes on when you sit down. So that's the idea of that. Nothing new that direction. So let's zoom along a little bit. Um, I think I made a few adjustments here. Yeah, I moved this. I've moved the. I've put these benches in as well from up up the front up up here. Let's move along. Past this chap. Excuse me, sir. And listen out for the. Listen out for the ambience change. They've done such a cool job of this. And here comes our tropical grotto. We'll do a flyover in a minute and I'll change the time and stuff. But I think it actually works really well in here. The rainforest grotto. And you should hear the difference as well. As it switches from this kind of inside bit. So there's there's the sign. That came out really well. Yeah, so this one at the top is, a, is actually a oh, suey... Sui's font? I can't remember. And this is a ricey, but the, as I said, the links will be in the description for this and this whole this whole thing will be in the in the collection as well. So there's my bit I was wittering on about the interface there that just kind of um Yeah, just kind of wanted something that the juxtaposition. So yeah, I did a load of lighting in here bits and pieces, a lot more detail, a lot more foliage. There's that door we put in. And they do actually kind of work. I mean, obviously their feet clip through the floor, but never mind. And can we, excuse me, can we just get a view as well for the peeps? So this has got the, the millipede in it. Excuse me, coming through. Some more lighting. We've got a little viewpoint. Obviously, there's not a lot to see at the moment, but there will be a cool little view thing this is um we'll go this way first but this is supposed to be so life on the forest floor basically this is supposed to be a, a bit about the oh you're standing in the way lady please can you move but this is supposed to be i actually used um i think just gorons uh he's another content creator he's got some really cool stuff um he created this beehive or was a beehive but um, I think it's actually more like a a bug hotel. Um, so I've used it. Can you all get out of the way? Thank you. Um, so it's supposed to be like you walk over it and you're looking down at the insects and stuff. And actually, funny enough, as I was playing around with it and, and adding bits to it, I got some Z fighting there, but I sort of decided to leave it. Um, I usually take that out, but that movement is actually kind of i don't know you have to tell me if i'm mad but it kind of works it's almost like there's bugs crawling around on the floor down there don't know you'll have to let me know so we've got um bow constrictor in here can we see any of them hello don't see any of them i think there's a few in there oh is that one at the back there i think maybe there's one right in the back corner there but yeah, I think that's come out pretty well. And then move along. What have we got in this one? Uh, another snake. So this is the python, I think. 
Like everybody wants to get in my way, don't they? So yeah, this there's basically like that's the that's the the small habitat or the small exhibit, and then just like loads of stuff like clipped into it, and extra plants and foliage. Oh, there's one right against the glass here. And yeah, if you just break up the like, obviously there's a lot of adding and oh and detail in this, but it doesn't take that long to get this level of kind of detail. Um, frog -its. Can we see any of these frogs? These guys are always super hard to spot because they're really tiny. No, I don't think we can see any. Somewhere in there. There's a whole bunch of them actually somewhere in there. Let's go inside and see if we can see. Oh, there's one. Hello. Okay, so back out. Whoa, we're getting a bit lost. Where have I gone? Okay, I've been zoomed in too much in Teju Cam. Okay, and then so we're carrying on this way. There's another one of our signs. Um, I've not actually tried this in Teju Cam. Oh, you can go up the call, cool, go up the spiral staircase. So there's not anything really up here at the moment. Can I get off yet? Yeah. But once we've got like habitat and stuff to see along here. And you know, something in the water, not sure, still not 100% sure what it's going to be. Did I just hear a monkey? I might have just heard a monkey running around somewhere. Oh, we've got one, we've got one escaped up there by the looks of it, in a box. So yeah, I think that would be cool once, once we can kind of get um, something for them to look at. That would be a cool spot for them to people to hang out. It's not liking me pathing around up here very much, it's just... Let's see if we can get down. Oh, all right, jump, jump. Okay. Oh, we're in the water. Okay. <laughs> Don't panic. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, this is the end of it, basically. So just carrying on a little bit more. It's just sort of blending out of the grotto now. So spiders in this one, and then that's continuation of the same one. Oh, that's one right there, randomly perched for us. And then cockroaches in this one. So yeah, I think that came out pretty well. Like, um, let's go back to daytime. So you can just see what it looks like in the daytime. I actually think that works better though in the evening. Oh, I did add a couple of the like sort of smoky effects and things as well, just to, um, and let's jump out of Teju Cam, fly around a bit, see how it fits in. Let's go, I think the best time of the day is about 11 o'clock at the moment for for light. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. Yeah. Monkey sounds everywhere. That's better. So yeah, I think it's coming together. Um, that's, so that's the, yeah, that's what it looks like from on high. Obviously we've got loads to do still. But yeah, I think that's coming together. I think I'll do probably do more of these kind of little feature lookout decks. Um, and we've got to get something in the water next episode. Yeah, the problem I was having was that the space between the path here, like to get a habitat gate in, was was too tight. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to bring a path round somewhere and then just have no guest access onto this island and have it all habitat. But that will be next time. And the monkeys are all just chilling out in there. Apart from that guy. Has he got picked up yet? No, I don't really understand why that's happening. Like how he ends up how he's ended up up there, I don't know. None of that's climbable. The the um traversable terrain at the moment's a bit a bit strange. Anyway, thank you very much for watching guys. My name is Toves. I shall catch you guys on the next one. Um and yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff if you want to see more. And yeah, I shall catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy.